I'm the man in black. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What's up guys, Jared here, and it's that time of week again. Anyways, The Dark Tower, the Stephen King novel series adapted to the big screen. I remember hearing phenomenal things about the book series, and I really wanted to read them, but of course I didn't. Since I heard so many good things about the books, I had high hopes for this movie. Heck, it even made my list for most anticipated summer movies. Did The Dark Tower live up to the anticipation? Hmm... So yeah, I was jazzed for this movie. So my understanding was that there's a tower. Actually, it's a dark tower. And there's a gunslinger, in this case played by Idris Elba, and the man in black, played by dazed and confused himself, Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, the man in black wants to destroy the tower and then the world. And the only person that can stop him is a gunslinger. But then there's this boy and he has the power. And it's called The Shine, I believe. Those lyrics are too shy, too shy, hush, eye to eye, not shine, shine. His power is so great that it can stop the man in black and save the tower. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna say it. This, this movie, it, it just, it, it felt incomplete. It felt like they went into the editing bay, pieced the movie together, and the editor was like... You don't have any more footage? This is it? Uh, no more? So let me get this straight. You're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this is all the footage for the movie. Ah, shit. That's all, folks. Like, the movie focuses on something cool, and then it's just gone. The opening 10 minutes, I am in this movie. Weird, crazy pyramid thing, kids living in a dystopian community, bizarre machinery, and creatures wearing humans as, like, skin suits. Like, I am fully engaged. But as the movie carried on, I wanted more lore, and I was given less. Aw, oh, cool, the Dark Tower. What's that all about? Um, it's a big dark tower, and it connects the worlds. Cool, so, like, who built it and why? Uh, sorry, dude, we gotta move on. Oh, sweet! A gunslinger! What's he do? He, uh, he shoots guns. But why? Like, is there a whole line of gunslingers? And moving on, uh, why is this boy so important? He has the shine. Uh, what's the shine? Who cares? And we're moving on! Ugh. So since the story moves on so quickly, character backstories are either rushed or entirely not there. The gunslinger shoots guns and is on a mission to kill the man in black. Jake Chambers, who's a kid from New York, people look at him like he's crazy, but he knows that there's more worlds out there. And the man in black. Um... Hmm... Uh, can I get help here? He, he's a man that wears black and has magic? Yeah, that's basically it. L Matthew McConaughey's character just feels like he stepped off the set of a Lincoln car commercial and just started filming. I don't mean going back to reminisce or chase ghost. I mean going back to see where he came from. Just a generic bad guy. The climax or conclusion of this film, it just kind of happens. It's a cookie cutter plot and then it's just done. I'm sitting there finally getting some action and it's just done. I'm like, what? That, that's it? Like, really? That effortlessly? Alright, just gonna go on with my life now. As the credits rolled, I just sat there hoping that there was some sort of redeeming post credit scene or something. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Overall, The Dark Tower is a poorly adapted flop of a movie, with an engaging opening 10 to 15 minutes, but then a plot that feels like it was set to fast forward. The plot, characters, and motivations have little to no impact on anything else in the movie. With very forgettable characters, I would recommend skipping this film, but if you really want to check it out, I'd probably wait until like Redbox or Netflix. What did you think of The Dark Tower? Was it the Steve 
Stephen King adapted to the big screen sci-fi epic you were hoping for? Or are you skipping this slap to the face and sticking to the novels? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on both Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later.